Hi, my name's Kevin Hicks. Welcome to my YouTube channel, The History Squad. Now, today's video is about my time at Blenheim Palace in Oxfordshire, England. It's a request from some of my subscribers. Now, I worked there for a few years and had a wonderful time dressed in my red coat uniform as a British soldier from the Battle of Blenheim, 1704. It was great. I used to fire my musket. I would tell the stories of how the British fought the French. Yeah, that kind of thing. But one day I was just totally involved in what I was doing. And one of the chaps who worked there in the maintenance crew says, you do know that John Churchill, who was the original Duke of Marlborough, is actually buried under the palace. Oh, really? Yeah. He says, I've never been down, but I've just found out where the trap door is to go down into the crypt and we can look at his coffin if you like. Wow, what an opportunity. I was going to go and pay my respects to one of my heroes, John Churchill, first Duke of Marlborough. Wow. So off we went. One lunchtime. I finished for an hour and uh, we found the trap door in the carpenter's workshop. The carpenters had gone for lunch, cleared a bit of dust and debris away. There is the trap door. The maintenance man lifts up this great big trap door in the wooden floor and we look down. Now, I had a flashlight from my car. Uh, I've had it for years. Never changed the battery. You see what's going to happen? We go down the steps. It's pitch black. We close the trap door. Clunk. Turn on the light. A pale yellow light. And we're in a brick chamber. Nothing in there. We're looking around, there are no coffins, there are no bodies. But then we see, just at shin level, knee level, there is the entrance to a, a passageway, a, a little tunnel. It's not too big, we shine the torch down and have a look. Now I put my musket and my hat in the corner and we have to get down on all fours. What I didn't realise is the whole place was covered in dust. It's a crypt, it's full of dead people. So I'm going to go first. I'm shuffling in with my torch and halfway through this little tunnel, my torch goes out. It's dead. Oh, my torch has gone. He says, don't worry, I've got a box of matches. And he slides under me this box of matches. So I strike one. There's the exit. It's not very long. It's just a short tunnel. So I get out and stand up and I light another match. And out comes the other chap and then another match. And I realise I'm in the family tomb and I feel as if I'm intruding. Row upon row of these coffins, I suppose you'd call it. But there is the Duke of... Oh, another match. There is the Duke himself. Wow. And I pay homage because he's one of my great English heroes. And all of a sudden, there is a mighty... Ah! I burnt my finger on the match. I drop the match on the floor and then a hand comes swinging round ice cold and hits me right in the middle of the face. I scream. The maintenance man screams. We both jump for the hole. It's pitch black. By the time we get through into the chamber, I am covered in dust. I didn't realise it. I find my hat. We can just see a chink of light through the trap door. I put on my hat and hold onto my musket. And as I ascend the steps and open the trap door, the carpenters had returned from their lunch break. All they saw was the entrance to the tomb open and from out of the ground, a red-coated soldier from 1704 suddenly appeared. So another story from Blenheim Palace uh, it was out of my red coat. No red coats or muskets involved. Straightforward, they asked, could I do something special for Halloween? Never asked me to do something special for Halloween because uh, I will. And what I did was I made a coffin and I put one of my model dead bodies in it with staring eyes. And the glass panel where the head is and a light just here that I could uh, switch on by remote. And then dressing myself and Joshua, my son, up as Victorian undertakers, we carried the coffin around just in the shadows just slightly out of view, making people a little bit nervous. What's going on for Halloween? What is in the coffin? And then we put the coffin on display in a room to the side. 
and hid behind the door. Oh yeah, I put a notice on the door, private, do not enter. We didn't have to wait long before a group of ladies took the bait. In they tiptoed into the room, not seeing Joshua and I in our top hats and makeup just behind the door. They walked up to the coffin and as they're leaning over, I pressed the button and the light came on revealing the body. Just as they began to scream, I slammed the door and I simply said, can I help you ladies? Well, I had to open the door to let the screaming ladies out, but hey, Halloween, it's all about scaring people, right? Well, I hope you enjoyed my stories. If you did, like, share and subscribe and don't forget to turn on the notifications so you know what's coming down the line later on but before i go a quick shout out to a couple of my patreon members dave dempsey and modest banana thanks guys well i'll see you soon so bye for now